Hey guys, welcome back to my little corner of YouTube. My name is April Sunny. If you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And today's video is all about lie relaxers. I did one on no lie relaxers just as more of like an educational piece added to this channel. Um, so I will link that in a card above and also down below in the description. I have been receiving messages about women contemplating going back to relaxing their hair just because of lifestyle and manageability. Same reason why I am relaxed. I thought I needed to do these videos on lie and no lie relaxers so the people who watch me as a relaxed hair YouTuber are making educated decisions instead of impulsive decisions out of frustration and irritation. So with that being said, let's get started. So lie relaxers have a higher pH range between 12 and 14. With the higher pH, this definitely allows the cuticles to lift so the relaxer can get in there very quickly and do its job and straighten your hair. Because it is at a higher pH range, this type of relaxer is very harsh on the hair. Lye relaxer is what I currently use, which is why I go to the salon to get it done. Lye relaxers also contain sodium hydroxide. I will put somewhere on the screen what that all means. Google is your friend, okay? <laughs> if you are going to get a salon service, nine times out of 10, depending on the type of stylist you're going to, they are using a lye relaxer. So the one of the pros of a lye relaxer and why professional stylists like to use it, um, not only because it works faster, but because it is pre-mixed. So it will definitely save on time. Lye relaxers definitely work very well on people with very coarse hair. I am 4C and I love my relaxers on my 4C hair. I don't care what anyone has to say about that. So don't drop a comment. Thank you. As I've said before, it does work much faster being at a higher pH. I do consider this a pro, especially if you're a professional using a lye relaxer because you're gonna need that service to move a bit faster and by you being over top of his or her hair and you're working it through, you can move faster and get to the next client. So the important pro for me in a lye relaxer versus a no lye relaxer is a lye relaxer is not going to leave a mineral deposit on your hair. That's that's a biggie for me. I don't want any mineral deposit build up on my hair. This will cause stiffness, ladies with relaxed hair that is, you know, dealing with stiffness or um, breakage or dryness. Check your mineral deposit. You may have mineral buildup. Most popular brands of lye relaxers is Affirm, Mazzani's, and Silk Element. I have used all three. I do not like Mazzani's on my hair. To me, it dries my hair out. I'm not a big, huge fan of Mazzani's um, relaxers. So I don't know. I just, it doesn't work well for my hair. I am still unaware of the name of what my aunt uses on my hair because she doesn't really like to share that information. However, I got you and I believe it is a firm. Okay. I'll be checking. I'll be looking for y'all. She ain't say it, but that's what I think it is. I'm going for my spring relaxer. I'm not skipping out on my spring relaxer. I skipped out on winter but I will be there in the spring and let's move on to the cons of, so a con to live relaxers is actually one of the pros as well. It's like a double edged sword. It is because it's at a higher pH scale and it does work very, very fast. If you are doing this yourself or your stylist is not paying attention, you are at a higher risk of severe scalp and hair damage. This is no joke. It happens and this is why they do not sell lye relaxers as a home package. 
you mainly see your live relaxers sold at a professional type of store like Cosmoprof. You know, I I get a lot of my things from Cosmoprof because I do have a license. And even with having my license, when I was relaxing at home, I was going to my regular hair store to pick up my box relaxer, my no lie relaxer, because I knew the difference in the timing and I was doing it myself and I was not willing to risk scalp and hair damage. When your scalp is damaged, your hair is going to be damaged and everything thereafter, if there's anything after, will be damaged because you have severely damaged your scalp. This is not a game. This is a chemical. Please keep that in mind. Another con is it's, a, it's more expensive. So you're going to be taking more money out of your purse for these things. If you are going to your stylist to get your relaxing service, of course, it's going to be a bit more expensive than if you purchased it at home and well, purchased a no lie and doing it at home, I should say. Again, this is why I speak of Cosmoprof because this is where I get it from. And even when you are purchasing it from Cosmoprof, you're not getting a small little box. You're getting the bigger jug because you're seeing multiple clients. It's client base type of relaxers, what they really should call it, client base. So if you're buying in bulk, almost like um, uh, Costco, if you're buying in, in a jug, it's in bulk, right? So you're going to spend more up front. The best thing I can leave you with when discussing um, live relaxers is if you are choosing to go the live relaxer route as I have, just make sure you're having a professional help you or you are a professional and you're doing it at home. If you so choose, I'm not telling you to do that. If you so choose to use a live relaxer at home, please have someone there that's knowledgeable of relaxers in the chemical that they're using to help you get through it a bit quicker because of the higher pH. I cannot stress that enough. Okay guys, I really hope this was helpful to someone. Comment down below whether you are using a lie or no lie relaxer and why are you using it? And then also, if you're natural, thinking about going back to relaxed hair, what type of relaxer are you going to use and why did you decide that relaxer? And until the next time, guys, be love. So um, just in case you're wondering, this is not all of my hair. I am still in a sew-in.